Hello everyone, so I'm going to teach you how to to work on the experiment number one measurement using vernier caliper and micrometer caliper so in our virtual laboratory so the virtual laboratory that we will use for this time is all labs so first you have to log in first so that you can have a you can have uh, you can access any uh, any na mga, uh, na mga simulations okay so let's go to physics simulation so and then go to the vernier calipers okay so we have to click vernier calipers so sa in your laboratory manual i have here a link uh in the manual that directed you directly to the simulator okay so if i go to simulator so you have here this one so you can actually read theory the procedure the animation the video or the viva voz or the resources depends on you but i think uh i didn't uh i didn't base my like uh my manual here sa uh, in olabs i only use the the uh the simulation or the simulator of the olabs okay so must uh, i would prefer to not read this one so just stick with the simulator okay so we have here so we have here at uh, the vernier caliper so the vernier caliper is here so as you can see here, meron itong, uh, like a zoomed out picture of a micrometer caliper, so that uh, so that you can see uh, closely the main scale and the vernier scale. So ma para makita yung uh, ano yung nag uh, coincide na line. Okay, so uh, when you want to to measure uh, when you want to measure using a vernier caliper here in simulator and all labs you just have to to drag the uh, the here the main scale here so drag I, I mean the vernier caliper drag anywhere in the main scale okay so for example I want to to measure the sphere okay so it, it you just have to click the object and it will automatically nga, pupunta siya dito so measure this uh, this one so you can see and you can uh, read now the measurement so and if you want to check if your uh, your answer is correct then you can enter result here reading so but but of course we have to go to process like we have to to get the value of the main scale we have to get the value of the vernier scale so before actually getting the actual reading Okay, so naka sulat naman dun sa ano sa manual. So my guide naman kayo sa manual on what to do. Okay, so next is so you just have to click. For example, gusto ko naman ng iron black, so you just have to click it. So it will auto automatically pupunta siya dito. Same ya as same sa cylinder. Now sa cylinder, may dalawa kayong i measure the diameter and the length. So if diameter muna, so yeah so ganito yung diameter nya so you just have to measure it like this one and then if you want to measure the length naman so you just have to click on the length so gaganyan siya and then yeah ganun lang ka ka dali yung pag measure okay so how about the iron block so my length the breadth or the width then the thickness okay so length muna then my my breadth or uh, width then thickness naman so it uh, mag mag automatically na mag orient yung block nyo iron block depende kung anong i measure nyo okay so again if you want to check the result you just have to put your actual reading here but of course you have to go through the process on how to get the actual reading so nakalagay naman din yun sa manual nyo now for the beaker so beaker kasi we have to measure the inner dimension tsaka yung uh, depth 
meaning yung gaano siya kalalim so if you measure the inner diameter so dito siya dito siya sa sa measuring jaws na to sa taas so you can see here then you have to to measure the beaker like this one so until na na yung dalawang jaws sa taas is naka ano siya naka naka touch na siya sa mouth sa beaker okay and if you want to go to depth of course di, dito pupunta siya sa depth probe okay so dapat magtouch yung dulo ng depth probe sa ano niya sa pinaka ano dito okay so sa iya jong end okay so if you measure it like this you just have to to again drag the depth tool and you can see so you can see naman na uh, nakatouch na siya sa bottom ng ano ng beaker so yeah that's it so now one thing that uh, I will say here to take a uh, take note please be reminded that do not refresh okay because once you refresh kasi what will happen is mag mag change yung dimension ng 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 object na minimeasure nyo so that is why it is not advisable for you to refresh once you already started the experiment because because babalik kayo sa pinaka start okay so please do not refresh so okay so once we, once will i will refresh this one so what will happen is makita nyo na iba na naman ang dimension ng uh, sphere ng iron block tsaka yung cylinder at saka yung beaker. So, mag-iba-iba talaga yan per refresh nyo. So, you have to take note of that. Okay? So, and also, okay, so this one. So, to So, mag-change naman yung dimension ng cylinder. So, yeah. Dapat hindi nyo siya refresh Tsaka, when you when you uh, when you change the object na, so, just have to click the object then yeah it will change the dimension of the object so that is why if you refresh it will change the dimension of the object as you can see lumalaki lumiliit naman yung cylinder now if you want to change the object you just have to um, just have to i think drag select object so you just have to click reset here so if you want to change object but again by clicking the reset it will actually change the dimension of the object so hindi siya advisable naman so you can go through with the simulator naman okay so you can ask me question about how to to do the simulator so this is just a tutorial video okay so that's it that's the very caliper now uh, the reminder that as you can see sa yung manual na sa the end of the page sa manual natin may screenshot kasi I want you to take a screenshot for each na minimeasure nyo ng object for example like this one screenshot nyo yan so with this one screenshot nyo naman yan then with screenshot again thickness you have to screenshot again so screenshot nyo lang yung yung ganito nyo so yung na measure nyo na screenshot nyo so that I will know kung anong object yung minimeasure nyo. Okay? So, you just have to screenshot that one. Then, yeah. So, that's it. So, that's how to do a vernier caliper.